Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new series, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. That is a long title, I do wish they had chosen something simpler. Um, yeah, uh, uh, definitely one of the more anticipated series for me for the past several years. I think it was announced about five years ago, so it's, it's, it's been a minute. Um, but Netflix, uh, sorry, Amazon has you know finally released the first two episodes and they're not doing the Netflix binge model where they release every single episode. So this is going to be a new experience for me. Um, I, I haven't really watched a lot of Amazon originals, so I'm not accustomed to the weekly releases, but um, and yeah, you know, um, I, I'm here for it regardless. Um, of course, going into this, um, most of the reviews that we've been hearing and from the trailers that we've seen, it, it looks stunning. Um, most of the reviews have been positive, some of course not so positive, but um, it, it, you got to take that with a grain of salt, I suppose, because many people started to judge this before they even saw it. Um, so while some of the criticisms were valid and sh should be for any adaptation, there are others that are just, you know, just ridiculous and, you know, aren't worth your time. Um, but uh, for the mostly, for, for the most part, the reviews have been positive and so I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to this. The only um, thing that I've read that I've seen persons are concerned about is that, you know, they, it, it, it's a bit slow, but I mean, it's Tolkien, so if, you, if you're going into something in the Tolkien universe and you're expecting it to be fast-paced, then you're kind of setting yourself up for disappointment there. Um, regardless, I, I, I'm, I'm more, I'm someone who's more into series that takes their time to lay the groundwork to build the universe and not rush to, um, to, to, to get to a conclusion, right? Um, majority of the times when, uh, when series fail is because they rush the story and, you know, you don't have the time to appreciate what is at stake in the world. Um, so if that is what they do and they do take the time and care to actually develop this in you know the first few episodes even I'm quite fine with that so um, I, I'm but again we'll see you know per, just perhaps this is one of those cases where it will test my patience as far as um, pacing goes but um, all in all I'm, I'm still looking forward to it so let's check it out it's going to sail just a few seconds in and it already looks stunning. Alright, it's still up. Oh, what the hell? Ah. There are always bullies. Even in this world. No, oh, it's interesting because it was a good ship. In all of these films, the elves kind of portray themselves as other or above humans, but from what you see, you know, they have some of the Dark. same traits and attributes but that humans do, good and bad. The ship feels the darkness as well, striving moment by moment to master her and pull her under. But sometimes the lights shine just as brightly reflected in the water as they do in the sky. It's hard to say which way is up and which way is down. You'll know when the time comes. Very true. Okay, this sounds very much like he's not going no to make it very far. Death, for we thought our joys would be unending. Oh. All right, now, as I mentioned, never read the books, but I have heard about this and this tree that provides. I don't know how that works <laughs> geographically, um, but hey, it's fantasy. We left Valinor. You can Our certainly see a lot of the inspirations that um, 
Elder uh, Elden Ring actually took from this. Down to the very tree. A place known as Middle Earth. This, this is our brother, right? Yeah, I don't think he's making it back. Now, we learned many words for death. Oh. <sighs> so many lost souls. In the end, Morgoth would be defeated. But not before much sorrow. Alright, I'm gonna have to learn a lot of names. Morgoth. Multiplying ever greater under the command of his most devoted servant. A cruel and cunning sorcerer. They called him Sauron. Okay. So Sauron is not the big bad. He's just Sauron a general first. for Morgoth. I did not know he that. Marked his flesh with a symbol. One whose meaning even our wisest could not discern. Century gave way to century, and for many elves, the pain of those days passed out of thought and mind. Hmm. So who was winning that war? Because if Sauron was victorious, why would he go into hiding? Ah, this looks amazing and terrifying. Commander Galadriel. This company has followed you to the very edge of the world, but none who ever dared search for this last okay. stronghold. This guy seems to have a chip on his shoulder already. Who is he? Perhaps we would be wise to camp here. Okay, so he's not. I mean, he's not being unreasonable. We are losing the light. I mean, I think she should have taken his advice there. There's really no point if you lose if you lose everyone by the time you get to your destination. And she's driven by revenge, but you know, you can't just leave her her men behind. Oh, there's something. We are there. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a, a, a video Whatever game from first person perspective. These orcs were meddling with the powers of the unseen world. Some dark sorcery. Trying to summon something, perhaps. Even stone cannot hide the mark of one whose very hand is flame unquenched. Same mark on her brother. <clears throat> he was here. Yeah, I get the impression that she doesn't have a lot of support for this. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought as much. For what purpose though? Is this purely for vengeance or are you trying to ensure that, you know, that everyone is safe and that you know the peace will last. Who's going off on their own? Why are you going off on your own? Ah, oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Already. Who said this was slow paced? <laughs> I was expecting this like much later. Ah, oh, damn.
And, and they've got to be like very tired. Ah. Come on, help. Don't just stand there. Nice. All right. I'd be disappointed if he had guard here because I would think that most elves are capable enough, especially several of them, to take on a snow troll. March of first light. Well, this is not good. Yeah. Then you should not surprised. So, I mean, I understand what she's trying to do, but she didn't. This didn't come out of nowhere. He's been clinging to her this entire time, and she's resisted. So. I think you should take in the time, you know, heed his advice, give them time to rest and so on, you know, it may not have gotten to this point as quickly as it did. Don't you think it's the least bit strange? Hmm. World strange. Okay. If I let these pitch come guys? Me, I'll never get off me bars though. Oi, oi. Hunters of some kind? Those are some huge horns. Look like a badger. Maybe a fox. More likely a half foot. Half would uh, don't care to be seen none, but if you do, watch yourself. Dangerous creatures they are. Are they? Alright, so I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. Quite a few of them. <laughs> and that's what I call a camouflage, and I'm guessing. Uh, um, Harfoots are a different race from Hobbits. Seem very similar. Okay, so Nori's mischievous. Judging by her tone. If you tell me worrying to death. You know the rules. We're not supposed to be out this far. If we didn't do everything we weren't supposed to do, we'd hardly do anything at all. What they find? <laughs> are you sure those are even safe to eat? I mean, I'm sure they are, but you guys are gonna get sick. There's something in the mud. Oh. What is it? It looks like a fifty. Oh, huh. that's not good. Dog. Uh, I think you guys should return. Oh, yeah. Come on. Time to head back. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's berries he's interested in. Toes and hands, everyone. Time to go. Work the big yard. You heard your sister. Time to go. Oh, no. <sighs> this is not good. Okay, I think I think they're in there. That's no ordinary wolf. These are some pretty big shoes he has to fill for the character because you know Hugo Weaving did such a fantastic job in, in, in his portrayal. I intend to ask of the king a fresh company. Hmm. So we didn't see what happened with her and her men. I'm assuming they abandoned her, but how far did she get or did she turn back? Yeah, I don't think the king is interested in this. It was not your company who defied you, Aster. But rather you who defied the high king. I don't think he wants to see you at the moment. Rather than dwell upon your insolence. Test him again. You may find him less receptive than mm. you might have I think he's doing a good job. His cadence um, seems very similar to Hugo's. And I'm not sure if he's mimicking that or if that's just how he naturally speaks. But it's working. You went to the old farm again. Didn't you? Got I caught. Was careful that the children might not be. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Mm, 
I'm sure you knew. This, this is probably not the first time you've done this. Yeah. She's just really curious. But I get the impression that those who leave, you know, probably don't return. I'm loving the dialogue in, in you know, in, in the episode so far. I think everyone's giving a very good performance. If this is the calm before the storm, I get the feeling that this is we have each other. We're safe. not going to last very long. That is how we survive. <laughs> yeah, sorry mom, but I don't think there's enough holding her back. Oh, this is the king. Some feared a new evil might arise from his shadow. Ah, <laughs> uh, so these are his words. Now at last, they return to us in triumph. They have proven beyond any doubt that our uh, days of war are over. Not according to her. Rather living in ignorance than than truth. I hope he remembers this when everything starts to fall apart. They will be escorted to the Grey Havens and granted passage across the sea to dwell for all eternity. At last. Is this a reward or punishment? Because <laughs> I don't think she wants to leave. I get the impression he's trying to get her away, you know? I think you thought you'd be upset. And she probably it is. is. Said, the wine of victory is sweetest for those in whose bitter trials it is fermented. I do not hmm. feel victorious. I'm not you familiar with the, the Elven home. Spirit. You know, where exactly far west? I thought they were all in one location, but clearly not based on what the king has said. And if so, if that is home, why is the king not home and here instead? could be looking it forever over. Uh, I mean I get the why the king wants why to move on from it here? but I think he's being a bit dismissive at the same time forward. it is only natural to feel conflicted I am grateful you have not known evil as I have but you have not seen what I've seen I have seen my share you have not seen what I Evil does not sleep, Elrond. Very true. <laughs> that is as true in this realm as it is in real life. Peace has made them complacent and, and they've forgotten. Can which is broken in you be healed. Go there. Go and I promise you. If but a whisper of a rumor of the threat you perceive proves true. I will not rest until right. it is put right. I I'm making an assumption here, so... I'm guessing those that are back home didn't take part in this war, and this faction that's here, these are the ones that have been at war for, you know, how I many hundreds of years. Because she does say, you know, he has not seen what she has seen, so I'm guessing Elrond was back home for a time and he only recently arrived. At least that's the impression I'm getting. Oh, who's this? Okay, so they know him. Uh, well, look to report. Let's go around, I'm afraid. A couple shabby disputes, getting uneven dice handling. Mm. Oh, yes. Uh, had a bit of thrilling here, Tuesday last. Row over okay. <laughs> Which you conveniently left out. If it'll pass through a few days back, said his grazing's gone rotten. No, only weeds will grow. 
And what day was it here? Oh, let it go, knife is. Okay. It's a bloody patch of grass. What's your problem, man? It doesn't concern you. One day, our true king will return and pry us right out from under your pointy boots. Mm. quench the fire. All right. I need a bit more context on what's happening here. They know that, you know, the elves are a bit condescending when it comes to humans, but he didn't do anything of that sort here. He's just asking questions about his own business. So why is this guy so upset? Um, right. We'll see. Give me a hand. Oh. Alfred I've not seen this flower since I was a child. Why is this elf here? <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing relationships between humans and elves are until next time then. Are frowned we'll upon. You draw some water. <laughs> are what are you playing? Have you considered the consequences I might face if the watch warden were to discover what it is that you're doing? What is he doing? Or do you think me blind? No. I think you talk too much. And you smell of rotten leaves. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Alright, so these... The elves have... Patrols among point human this. land, or well, what for? Has a I'm not which clear on that. Humans even been attempted, and on each occasion, it ended in tragedy. It ended in death. Okay, which are you? The High King has declared the days of war are over. All the far outposts are being disbanded. Mm -hmm. so he has to return. We're leaving. Alright, so these are just outposts, uh, remnants of the war. Now the war is over, they need to, you know, return home. So, uh, the interesting thing in fantasy is that elves are always portrayed as these stoic and almost peerless, incorruptible beings. I do wonder whether that would be tested here or not. Mankind, on the other hand, has always been horrible because we kind of are, so that's expected. <laughs> Come to say goodbye. Is that her son or her brother? Most likely searching for me at this very moment. And why are you at my home? Unless he chooses to stay, which would be really surprising. There's a man here for you. Oh. It is her son. Give her a minute. You feel animals too? She's got some sort of a sickness. What manner of sickness? I don't think it's a good idea being spotted at her home because it now, you know, makes others look at her. I think she might have As a something. traitor of some kind, you know? That was a bit reckless of him. Oh. What was that? Where's it out of there? How far east? She might have made it as far as Horton. Is that even gonna let the men from the fort know? This is not a good move. Is it true? Oh, come on. About your mum? Here we go. The Baldry caught herself and one of the pointies. It was mighty sweet back of his well the other day. It's a lie. That salty rascal's got the king's bounty down there. This is the real bounty. Uh oh. That doesn't look great. The 
What the hell are you doing? Go quick. I'm guessing these are probably people who were siding with Morgoth. She is leaving, okay. Future king. Galadriel sails to the sunset. You and I must look to the new sunrise. Are you acquainted with the work of Lord Celebrimbor? The greatest of elven smiths, of course. He is about to embark on a new project. One of singular importance. And we've decided that you will be working with him. Oh, the rings. Interesting. <sighs> Something's coming. Hey, be careful that you have someone to listen. Okay, listen. listen, listen. Let her be. Please. Tell me. Is there an arrow in his shoulder or is it just a part of his cloak? <laughs> is she leaving her son to travel that far? This is a bit irresponsible, isn't it? Talking about my friends. Close kin. I know them. There are good people there. That is why I'm here with you. I hope you know what you're doing, man. I like this navigation where we're moving to different parts of the maps and you're showing us where everything is. I probably need to go back and just familiarize myself with it because I'm missing some of it, but um, it helps to kind of put things in perspective in terms of, you know, what's happening on the map. Just to release all her weapons. You know, this other guy that's been with her he intrigues me because initially I thought he was someone who was just didn't like that she was commanding the group and wanted power for himself but you know over time you see that he's just in part trying to protect her men and just trying to do the right thing you know, um, I don't think he's a bad person. I hope this isn't the last we see of him because I think he could be a really interesting character. Oh, okay. I hope she sees this. This is what she, the sign that she's been waiting for. Almost there. She's gonna see that crossing the, the sky. How am I to know which way to follow? Oh, she's going to see it in the water. Sometimes we cannot know. Until we have touched the darkness. Nori has seen it. Oh, interesting. But she didn't see it. She just chose to not go. Well... <laughs> But, no boat. But the threat is here. 
I mean, he was worried that she may give rise to the very thing that she was trying to eliminate. But I don't think this. Oh, wow. Darkness. Should have listened to her. Oh, one of the Harford found it. Oh, no. No. Not Nori. All right, the first episode of Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. That was a fantastic episode. I do not know what the hell anyone else saw and thought this was slow or... It's building to something. Um, I, I don't know when we got such short attention spans where we need everything to be handed to us in the very first episode. Um, in truth, this is what I wanted The Witcher to start off as. Take as much time as you can to build the world, to, to, to make it feel as grand as it's supposed to be. And Witcher did not do a fantastic job with that. And this has, um, in just one episode, I feel as though, in, in terms of the scale, that this is just something that's going to be epic. And everyone, uh, you know, the realm of men, elves, dwarves, and, and, and even the Harfoots, and I'm seeing the, the, the geography where everyone is located, um, you know, what their um, what their motivations are, whether they are taking part in the conflict or not, or, you know, in the Harford's um, case, they in the Harford's case, they feel as though they're somewhat outside of all the conflict that is happening in the world. Um, this is taking its time to build to a climax, and that is how every show should start out. Um, yes, one, two, and three episodes may feel a bit slow in terms of you know action but this was very deliberate it was very deliberately paced and the in terms of dialogue a lot was happening you know it's not slow because you know and i think the word in the way that people have used slow now in reference to television or films has kind of changed or it's become a bit lazy to be honest um, because slow doesn't necessarily mean that you know there's no um, it, there's nothing happening with the with the overall plot um, because this is actually moving there's no action per se but the dialogue is there um, and you are learning things and you're you're seeing these characters and you're learning more about these characters and what they want um, yeah I mean uh, yeah Galadriel we, we see what her motivation is you know her brother died in the war they've been fighting for hundreds I think thousands of years um, and uh, they've i guess become a bit complacent um with the, with the peace that they've had and this is something that is reminiscent in 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 real life you know um where and i don't mean to get too real but even Tolkien himself when he was writing this um this you know this epic tale it was based on real life scenarios and um you do see a lot of similarities here with what is happening today and how we've become complacent with um you know the, the freedoms that we enjoy and 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 we forget how to fight to keep it and and i think it's something similar that we are seeing here and galadriel i think understandably because i understand where the king was coming from as well because she was driven purely by motivation i don't think it was by any need to rid the world of evil i think it was just to avenge her brother so I, I i do believe her reasons for doing it weren't necessarily for the better of everyone else especially when you consider that the men that were following her seems to um you know be less important than her convictions and she was willing to almost you know willing to let one die um just to carry on um but thankfully you know they all decided that okay you know this is it no further and yeah we, we need to we need to return um and I, I think perhaps that was still the best decision because there's no um guarantee that had she gone on that she would have succeeded because you know that may not have been where um sauron was and she may have wasted more time there and may not even have made it back in fact so um i think the men made the right the, the right call there um, so we see what is driving her and you know she was almost home I'm a bit unclear as to what the elven home is like and why it's set apart from where they are now but 
my assumption is that these this faction of elves where the elven king is um you know broke off to fight the war and which is why they're not you know they're not home um but they've kind of decided to bury their heads in the sand and and you know and and, and who knows perhaps the king had a point in that she could have through her thirst for vengeance she could have um fed um the, th the thing that she was trying to destroy you know and the darkness could have crept in um, so i do think there was some valid, um, valid um, criticism coming from the king's side um and elrond who the actor i believe is doing a very good job here as i mentioned you know i think filling hugo we weaving shoes is going to be a difficult task but um his mannerisms and and cadence and how he speaks and carries himself is it, very reminiscent of hugo's performance i don't know if he's um, borrowing some elements from that or if that is how the character of Elrond always has been and you know it's just a similar performance from what they've taken from the source material but either way I'm enjoying his um, his dialogue very much um, he's very much a likable character and there are quite a few likable characters in this I already love Nori here uh, I do hope she survives since she is the first to come across I think that's Sauron who, who just landed um, so i hope she survives uh, and the Har the harfoots of course I, I am curious to know what the difference is between the harfoots and the hobbits i'm not sure if there's a difference or if they just went by a different name here and that will change later on i'm not sure um but i i, I, I love seeing that dynamic there and every part of the landscape that we have visited see for the land of men <laughs> um have been um you know a, a wonderful experience it, it seems as though the elves still have patrol in the, in the, the land of men because men sided with morgoth um during the war um but i, I mean uh, the, was it everyone that did that or just this you know this village here I, i'm not entirely certain but they do seem to be judging all humans that, you know along the same standards it's like okay one if these if these people betrayed us, then all humans are bad. And well, let's be to be honest, it's not a it's not a far fetched assumption right there. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, and of course we have Arondir, who I'm I'm quite you know I'm quite enjoying this character because he represents a conflict between um, you know a divide between the human and the elves, where he's fallen in love with a human woman. And it's obviously something that is, um, you know, that, that is not really acceptable, or at least it's not the norm. I think his friend did say that it has happened once before and it didn't end well, it ended in death. Didn't see whether it was for the elf or the human or both, but um, yeah, and I mean, he's been, he said he's been posted here for 70 odd years, 76 years, I think it was. Um, so. Uh, it's a tough relationship because you know he'll be alive long after she's dead I, I, I don't know how that's gonna work out her son seems to not like elves um, quite possibly because his dad may have been killed by one I, I'm not sure he, he's, he said he didn't know what happened to his father or his friend suggested that um, but his mom seems to have told him that her father that that his father left um, and just abandoned him I do wonder whether there is more to that story but given that she has a, a good relationship with an elf um or i don't think an elf killed him, you know his dad or at the very least she, she's not judging all elves the same um so it, you know she actually does represent you know the best that you know mankind has to offer at the moment because the elves are very judgmental here and uh, i mean you can understand part of it because humans fought against them but to to suggest that all humans are the same purely on that fact it, it's just you know that's not right that's not right uh but yes um overall this looks fantastic the acting is great i feel as though in some ways like i'm watching a play but a very high budget play and that's not that's not a bad thing that's a great thing because in my mind when i do watch a lot of these fantasy genre series series especially um you can tell who the stage actors are and the ones that aren't and the stage actors are, are typically the ones who give the best performance because 
they do this every night and they do this every week and they're so engrossed in it and i, I look at something similar to and i keep comparing it to the witcher because uh, you know it's it's also fantasy and i think this is doing a lot of things right that the witcher has not even though i enjoyed that you know by its own merit but i think her name is anya um the actress who plays jennifer and i think and just watching the witcher she's the the best actor or actress in that series and you can tell that she has a lot of stage experience and even though henry cavill is the main character he's my least favorite thing to watch in the series i know people love him but i don't think you know i don't think he fits very well um but anya I, I can tell in her delivery and, and everything she does that okay this is something that she lives for and and i give props to stage actors all the time as best as i can because I, I i do recognize the talent when i do see it and that's the feeling that i get from a lot of uh, the actors in this series i'm not sure which of them are stage actors and which aren't but um i do get a feeling that you know this is something that they do regularly and you can tell in their performance that it's genuine and and they believe what they're saying and i believe what they're saying in turn um so i absolutely love the performances that i've been getting so far um the politics of, of it all and, and and everything is just really fascinating for me um I, I have no idea where the negative reviews are coming from for this this is a fantastic start um to what could possibly be one of my favorite series um it, it, it in terms of um just the writing and dialogue and everything it's it's just been it's just been magnificent and i can't wait to check out the next episode all right guys that is it my first um the the first episode of lord of the rings the rings of power um, be sure to post down below in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on this episode remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to support the channel and i'll see you for the next one